19th June 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bhaktata Madhupan Sweet children, put a bead in your mouth that is stabilized in your original religion of peace and Maya will not be able to do anything. Question Only when Shivaba is the innocent law, why can no one else be an innocent law? Answer Because only Shibaba has no desires for himself. He comes and becomes the children's server. He liberates you children from the slavery of Maya. He makes every child a master ocean of knowledge, similar to himself. He fills your aprons with jewels of knowledge. No one else can be as altruistic a server as him. This is why only when Shibaba is called the innocent Lord. Song No one is unique like the innocent Lord. Aum Shanti The praise is sung of those who existed on the path of devotion. They were like this. It is said of all those who were here now. They are like this. However, for those who have left their bodies, you would say they were like this. Devotees definitely sing the praise of the Supreme Father. Otherwise, why is the praise sung? He is here now practically. The God of all the devotees is one. He is called the magician who protects the devotees and grants them salvation. It is remembered that he is the bestower of salvation for all. Everyone receives salvation now. Human beings of all the variety of religions that are number-wise will definitely receive liberation and salvation. All human beings definitely go to the land of liberation. They will then come down, number-wise, in their Satapradhan state. The deities will come first, then the warriors, and then the merchants. They will definitely change clans. Praise its sung of those who performed good actions when they existed. Such praise only lasts for a temporary period. Because your children know that destruction is standing ahead. Those who came at the beginning received the maximum praise. On the path of devotion, it is the worship of Shri Baba that begins first. Because of his being here now, he is later praised and worshipped on the path of devotion. Here is no devotion in the golden age. They don't even know what existed before them or that the Silver Age comes after the Golden Age. You have to use your intellects and thus. The path of devotion begins with the Copper Age. The intelligent children who have memorized knowledge can understand it very clearly. However, they are all parts. Some of them are able to memorize this knowledge very well, whereas others do not understand anything. They are like pigeons. A parrot can be taught to repeat something. Pigeons cannot learn anything. There are pigeons at Amarnath. Pigeons simply carry messages. A parrot repeats whatever it hears. Pigeons are unable to repeat anything. Here too, those who are unable to repeat what they have heard are called pigeons. According to the present time, there are human parrots as well as a human pigeons. Whatever people say at this time, it is all useless. The father is Rup Basant. Baba has explained that he doesn't have a large form. If anyone asks what Shri Baba's form is, you should explain that Shri Baba's form is the same as the form of souls. As is the father, so his children. Souls are not smaller or larger than the father. He is the supreme father, the supreme soul. He is the one who explains to us. His name is the innocent Lord. He is a very innocent Lord. He has no desires for himself, not even for a shell. Your children have the faith that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul has explained to us through this body. A soul cannot speak without organs. The Father himself sits here and explains. People even say that God comes. There is his Nandigan. Men's chariot of a bull, that is worship. 
they have shown a bull but that couldn't be an animal it is not that he would jump onto a bull the speak of bhagirath the lucky chariot but no one knows how the pure of fire comes he must have surely come to transform hell into heaven this is why he is praised it is shubhava who is worshiped first in fact the number one and true praise belongs to him now the even praise cats and dogs and everything else they create a nandigan they go round with a bull shubhava now enters this nandigan and gives you knowledge he is giving you the milk of knowledge his praise is great god is the innocent lord the one who feels everyone's apron they do not say in front of shiv feel our aprons because they understand that he is incorporeal they take their aprons in front of shankar for him to feel them they do not go to vishnu or brahma they go to shankar because they have come by shiv with shankar they think that shiv is the form of shankar those who perform worship don't know the occupation of the ones the worship because even the first one who becomes a worshiper does not know this is known as becoming what the worship deities and then becoming worshipers you now understand that we were what the worship deities and that we were the ones who then became worshipers shiv is the resident of the supreme region but he shown in the temples brahma vishnu and shankar the residents of the subtle region also have parts because they definitely do come shiv also has to come but shankar has no need to come here they even name streets trimurti mark they even name streets trimurti mark they also mix terms of the trimurti but they show a line in that they have written underneath victory for truth this is accurate however they do not show any name or trace of shift victory for truth should not be written under an animal only the one father is the truth the one who relates the true story and makes us victorious he explains everything very clearly you are becoming master knowledgeful if all the morlies were kept from the time you started hearing this knowledge they would feel a whole building you must have used so much paper and you will have to use a great deal more the murlies will definitely go to the children many copies will be made the tree continues to grow your children understand that many storms of maya will come keep a bead in your mouth and maya will not then be able to do anything it is very easy to remember baba i am a soul i the soul say my original religion is peace we are all foreigners who come to this land of maya there is a song a resident of the far away land all souls are residents of the far away land you have come to know that you are now definitely in a foreign land you come from a very far away land which is called the incorporeal world there are mean people in the world you understand that you are all foreigners devotees on the path of devotion remember god devotees want god to come what will he do when he does come you children understand that baba comes from the supreme abode he says i have to transform this impure iron age world into a pure world of heaven it is not a human being who is teaching you a human being can neither bring salvation to himself now grant salvation to others the play is now coming to an end at the end all the actors have to be present this is also mentioned in the geeta except that in sub shivaba they have written god shri krishna speaks shri krishna is the first prince people think that it was the he who taught raj yoga however you now understand that it is the innocent law who teaches you raj yoga and that he has come the knowledgeful father is called the innocent lord people have made allegations against shri krishna in fact they are not made against shri krishna but against the father previously no allegations were made against this dada 
It was only after the father came that allegations were made. While he was moving along, the traveler entered him. And just look how many allegations have been made since then. All of those dance and games etc. are the games of that one. He is the one who entertains the children. Your children understand that you have found the Baba and that you are filling your aprons with jewels. Knowledge of the scriptures cannot be called jewels. These jewels are knowledge. Each jewel is worth hundreds of thousands of rupees. At this time, all human beings content to throw stones at one another and have thereby become those with stone intellects. The Father comes and changes your stone intellects into divine intellects. He transformed Kabristan, means the graveyard, into Paristan, means the land of angels. Death repeatedly comes here and buries people in the graveyard. This does not happen there. Just as a snake sheds its old skin and takes a new one in the same way, souls shed their old bodies and take new ones. Baba gives this example here. Sannyasis then use it for their own purpose. The belief that a bubble merges into the ocean. Some say that a light merges into the light. There are many opinions. You now receive one direction that you have to follow. Baba says, you have been calling out to me for birth after birth. But I only come once. You called out a great deal, saying, I am your slave. The father comes and frees you from slavery. You become my own slaves. The father comes and liberates you from that. You know that you have done a great deal of devotion. The father has now come to give you the fruit of your devotion. The part of devotion is now over. There is this knowledge, devotion and then this interest. There are two types of this interest. The this interest that the sannyasis have is to leave their homes and families. The this interest that you have is in the entire old world. You children know that all of this is going to be burned away. Nothing will remain. The wealth of some will remain buried and robbers etc. will come to loot it at that time. When an aeroplane crashes or there is a fire, looters go there. Those who live around, they are also looted. They have enough time before the police arrive. Destruction will definitely take place. The world is so large. You understand that America etc still has the pump of happiness because the Christians came later on. Their paths of happiness exist now. They have so much courage. They travel to the moon and the stars. They do not go to the sun because they know that it will burn them. They try to go to the moon and the stars to acquire land because they have heard the expressions sun dynasty and moon dynasty. They think that there is perhaps a world there. The Japanese call themselves those who belong to the Sun dynasty. Some call themselves one thing and others call themselves something else. You now understand that Bharat was definitely the Sun dynasty and the Moon dynasty. There can be no land more elevated than this one was. This drama is predestined. There is no question of changing anything in this. This is something that has to be understood. When your children sit in the silence, you should always sit in the consciousness of your original religion. You have to remember the father. You do not have to go to a forest for peace. You can explain to whoever comes. Peace is the necklace around your neck. So where are you searching for it? The soul says, my original religion is peace. Then when I enter a body here, I talk. A play cannot be performed in silence. Previously, bioscopes means films used to be silent. Everything in the subtle region is also a movie. No sound emerges. At that time, whatever they means trans messengers understood a cycle ago, they come and relate that. It is not a new thing. This whole drama makes us dance through 84 births. This drama is eternal. Everyone adopts bodies to play their own parts. Sweetest children, Shubhava is saying this. He speaks to you souls and says, Remember me alone. This Brahma doesn't say, Remember me alone. These are such deep matters. 
This one says, I also have to remember that one. I am the Brahmaputra river. A meeting took place between the Brahmaputra river and the ocean. There is no meeting between the Saraswati river and the ocean. Only one meeting took place. A huge mela took place in Calcutta at the confluence of the Brahmaputra river and the ocean. There is one Brahmaputra and the meeting only took place once. This meeting also takes place here. If there were no ocean, it would not be called a mela. Wherever mama goes, a meeting of the rivers takes place. This meeting takes place between the ocean and the Brahmaputra river. You can understand this for yourselves. If you are able to churn the ocean of knowledge, then just think about how this ocean is living and how that one is not living. All the rivers have emerged from the ocean. This is the auspicious meeting. The father says again and again, remember me alone. Your children also tell others, remember the father. You cannot say, children, remember me alone. Baba can say through this one, children, remember me alone. You are sitting here in person. You see, Shivaba says, remember me. Tell everyone, remember the father. And your final thoughts will lead you to your destination. Death has to come to everyone. Just look at what is happening now. America, it's so large. This Bombay will not remain afterwards. Very few will remain. There are now millions to govern. There, there will be very few in the beginning. Later, others will continue to come. It has been explained to you children that Maya is very powerful. She will prevent you from having remembrance and will continue to create obstacles. She will turn your faces away from Baba. However, you have to make full effort and become strong Mahavirs. You should have such a yoga that Maya can never shake you. Acha. To the sweetest, be loved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and quit morning from the mother, the father, Babdada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna. First point, stabilize yourselves in your original religion of peace. In order to be saved from Maya, keep a bead in your mouth. Second point, have unlimited disinterest in the old world. Before destruction takes place, use everything you have in a worthwhile way. Blessing, may you have an elevated fortune and fly with your wings of zeal and enthusiasm on the basis of your courage. Explanation, no matter what happens at any time, never let go of your courage. When you see the weaknesses of others, do not become disheartened. Never have such thoughts as perhaps the same will happen to me. The stage of fortunate souls can never be influenced or attracted by others and thereby calm down because they constantly fly with zeal and enthusiasm and remain safe. Those who think of the past or of their weaknesses or look back are in fact invoking Ravan. Slogan to give regard to each one's advice is to receive regard. Those who give others regard can never insult them. Om Shanti